close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. All right, guys, you yeah, are welcome back. And this is a POS management system developed using PHP version 8.1 and above. And uh, we use MySQL as the database, HTML, CSS, uh, and Bootstrap for the front end. And it is very handy and user friendly. It's also mobile responsive. So uh, I will provide the link for you to download the source code. And uh, I will walk you through how you can up, uh, set up the system uh, in a minute. So let's assume you have downloaded the provided source code and you have opened it in whatever uh, text editor you are using. So in my case now, I am using Sublime Test. Uh, let's go to the page. Let's go to uh, where is it? I think I. I save it somewhere. Okay, is it? We have info.txt. Inside this info, you can read from up to the base to this page. You can read to this page. But what I'm concerned about is the step. Let's check. Is this step four here? Is step four? So just go through the the, the process. When you get to step four, uh, you need to pause for a little while and study how it works. He said, extract the downloaded source code file. Once you have extracted it, just like this one, I've extracted it version one. And if you are using them, you copy the extracted version and source code, for, copy the old folder to your XAMPP. Inside the XAMPP, you locate htdocs directory. And if you are using one, I think you need to paste in this www directory. So, and then um, you need to browse for PHP MyAdmin slash localhost. We have HTTP slash localhost or slash PHP MyAdmin. What do you do here is for you to create your own uh, database. Uh, whatever you name your database, I think I name my own POS underscore DB. You must make sure whatever you name it, uh, you come to the Example dot init, which is example dot init dot php. This is where you set. You see your configuration. Uh, whatever your configuration is, I uh, want you to copy everything inside that content and copy it to init dot php. I will not open it because it completes my configuration. Because in your own case, in the downloaded version, you will see that this it need to be empty. And if this empty and you try to run the application, it will generate a fatal error. So you need to copy, look at it, locate example.nitphp uh, in the app folder and copy whatever is inside that file into init.php and set the configuration accordingly. See, failure to do this correctly, the application will generate a fatal error. So browse for POS management system in the browser that is whatever your your folder name is this is my folder name local slash pos dash v1 or whatever name you give to it and do not update functions please unless you know what you are doing uh, it may be functions or method and copyright will remain a reference to flat rp technologists so this is the login info for the admin and for the cashier for this demo so let's navigate now if you don't have the text editor or the map or bam or one you can click the link any of the link to download it i believe we are done with the setup let me say the changes i made to that now let's go to the browser this is the browser i log in through local slash whatever the name of your folder then I want to open two browsers, one for the admin and one for the cashier. Though they use the same interface for their login, so I'm using Chrome now. And I want to open my uh, Mozilla Firefox. This is another browser, so I want to log in as the cashier A. So let's try to do that. Uh, let's go back to the info and move down to the base. We see the admin login 
info which is at me at careme.com for this demo so let's place it for the admin okay let's move on let's copy the password so let's place it now this is the admin info for this application try to log in um, wow this is the dashboard for the super admin as the admin of this my application you can delete you can update you can view and you can create which happen to be crud so what are the features in this one platform application the features are listed right there so this is the feature we have the secure login and logout it prevents user to log in on multiple devices at a time you can see administrator panels, casual panel you can see all these and you can import multiple products using uh, csv or exe you can use and 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 code scanner like barcode scanner to scan the authenticity of your product you can update your own account you can generate and print terminal receipts so as soon as so forth so now we have the store maybe you are running a multi store so we have two example of stores there we have the sample address and the sample location store location two so uh, sample store and the store two so the address examples of whatever store is you can as well add your own store on this page but i will not create it because i think i've created two so these are the list of users we have in the system right away uh, the admins here you cannot do anything on this account you can't delete you can edit just leave it like this then the cashier you can delete cashier you can update the details you can remove them you can add your own uh, users you can generate uh, automatic password and the, 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 the secure password for them so you can also hide it and generate another one you can set their rules and so on and so forth so now that we are done with um, the user management you can go to the supplier and we have only one supplier and i will not try to create another one although you can create your whatever you want to create everything is working perfectly but that's not why i'm here so let's wait for the system to load okay so we are not creating anything we only want to use this one as demo the car we have category these are the list of category we have maybe liquid to bread and serum you can update you can delete you can add your own category if you want and this is product management page like i've said you can import a list of product maybe your the list you have i have the example here so you can use Excel to import millions of thousands of products at a time so we have product one product two product three product four this is the cost price the selling price the quantity the barcode the supplier id the manufacturing date the expiring date the category of the product and the batch the product belongs to so you can as well use manual import you are importing them one by one here by writing maybe the june batch and uh, the name is maybe sample one this is sample one um uh, sample one description okay sample one description maybe it's 400 milligram and this one the price i think is 200 maybe naira or dollar whatever currency you are using the selling price is 350 the carton is 100 so who supplied us with supplier company whatever the name is then the category let's say staplet now we can select the manufacturing date from here and we can also select the uh, expiration date for this uh, product we want to insert let's select this one then let's submit uh, the product sample one is created successfully now as you can see so if I move on to the cashier page and I try to log in using this information, where is it? Um, sorry guys, the information, okay, I think it is this, let's copy it. the uh, password is just cashier, okay, not this page, uh, let's try to paste, then let's copy that one and paste here. 
so let's try to log in now the cashier is able to log in and see that it has only one product if the cashier want to make this he only allowed to see one product for now see i only see one product so let's go back to the admin page and try to import this uh import this i think i'll save it somewhere in my system let's try to check so if i want to import now you see i want to import select this is the product a so let's try this is product csv.exe import so i have successfully imported the product from this page the first one is product name uh there's the title then the product one product two and three let's try to check here you see product one product two product three product four this is the one i created manually and this is the one i imported from one two three four so if i move on to the cashier page now and i try to go back to the dashboard you see we have five products all together i can view them at once you see how everything is working perfectly like so now that everything is working let's go to order we don't have any order for now no sales report no data available in table so uh we want to set we want to make a sales of products to customer maybe the name of the customer is guest or if we don't want to disclose the name of the customer in this demo i'll use guest and i want to buy a product for whatever product is i select it now product for the unit price is 450 i want to buy one quantity maybe two or three so i want to buy another one maybe a product sample one i want to buy sample one they have 100 out of the 100 i wanted to buy five so i still want to buy more but let's just talk about that I made a sales of wow the total amount now is three thousand one hundred. Which method? Am I paying by cash or by POS by transfer or by check? If I'm paying by cash, I need to enter the amount paid. If I'm paying by POS, I need to make sure that everything is paid. So let's assume the person is paying by, by POS. Let's try to generate the receipt. So the receipt is generated somewhere here. This is it. Let me drag it back to the fridge. So this is the receipt. Let me cancel this one. Uh, you see the town, the city, and the country. The phone number of your company, the email of your company, then the the sales point, the cashier name, the invoice number, the customer name, the date of sales, and the time of sales, the item purchase, the quantity, and the amount. Air product for TV quantity sample one five quantity this one cost 1750 this one cost 1350 so everything is 3100 so amount tender is 3100 and balance is zero the paid via pos so this is the receipt the terminal receipt we generated for the user the moment it purchased the goods so as you can see now let me refresh this page now it's gone we can now see the sales record this is the sales record and we can regenerate or we already printed the invoice for reference we can see the name of the buyer the method used for the payment and the total amount it purchased in this date and time so we can see the payment report now cash is zero transfer is zero pos is this and check is zero so it's also showing here you can filter the sales record from here see any dates you can filter by cash only, by payments only, by transfer only, and by, car, by check. You can also filter all at a go. So this is the beauty of this our unique application. Now let me now navigate to the admin and see if admin is going to see the details of transaction that has occurred today. Let's go back now. Let's refresh this page. You know now this page is now instead of 200, it's now 176. 197 instead of 100 it is now 95 because uh some quantity has been sold out so let's go to the dashboard to see the overview of everything sales made today is this uh sales made 
by let's go to the, the report uh, by cash is uh, by POS is here so you can search you can see the name of the uh, attendant he said sold by this is the cashier I think the customer that purchased maybe you have three or four cashiers you can track their sales record from here then you can see the order the list of all the order you can regenerate the receipt this is it this is the receipt you can also print it out this way so that is the beauty of this unique application and then you can what else again can you do that's just it that's it so that is the beauty of the application guys i will see you in another uh tutorial and i think it's time for me to log out of this upload the video recording so thank you guys